Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hey, Brett. Hey. Session number five of the math sessions. Uh, so far, you've got to see four of our tour players and the way that they swing. First, the beautiful swing of Veronica Fellowberg, and then the elegant, lovely swing of Luke List, and the efficient, organized swing of Patrick Cantlay. And yesterday, you got to see the straightest hitter in the golf, Miss Mo Martin, and her fantastic golf swing. There's been so many nice comments about uh, this. Thank you a lot. And it sounds like people are learning from those swings, which is one of the best ways to, to learn, see a great swing. Now we're going to have one of our young players, Clay Sieber. Clay's been one of the best players in junior golf. I think you've seen him out here practicing. He combines power and grace as well, too. And he's going to be a great, great player. He's at a perfect age right now, an 18-year-old young guy that's going to Long Beach State, and he's going to become a really good player there and wants to go try to play on tour as well. And it's going to be fun to mentor him along. Clay's going to uh, show you his practice from his garage, and there's part of it I really like. He's barefooted, which I like that feel if you can do it uh, when you're practicing, especially in a spot like that where there isn't a dress code. He's got that surfer look, which is really good for balance. And then he's using the hacky sack, and he's doing a drill. Remember earlier in the sessions, we talked about breaking your backswing up to, to organize it, where you made just a turn away and got it to nine o'clock, and then rotating your pivot up and let everything go down and swing through. Clay does this in the drill, and if you look at it, he's put a hacky sack up on top of his head to keep his head quiet. That's kind of a sig signature move for all the players at the Keach, that their head is really quiet. We like the idea that you have a glass of water in your head, and when you're swinging, you wouldn't spill anything. So if you watch this, you'll really notice uh, three things. Great body mechanics and control of the golf club, super beautiful balance with a really still head, and then that lovely follow through where it goes right through and the ball just gets in the way. He's doing it indoor in a mat, so if you have the opportunity to set something up in your garage like that, we certainly can help you in order to put something like that together or guide you along, or if you just have the opportunity to swing in your backyard, you can practice the drill the same way that clay is, and it certainly helps to you to wire really good mechanics. Brad, I know that you know Clay really well and you get to watch him in a bunch of balls. Why don't you talk about Clay a bit? Yeah, first off, just like everyone else you guys have seen, Clay's a great kid and we're super proud to be able to help him with his golf. Um, as you'll see in the, at him swinging uh, at the, in the YouTube link with the 9 o'clock position, the hacky sack on his head, that's, he's, he's doing the same thing out here on the range. So whether it's out here on the range or at home in his garage, he's able to work on the same thing so he, he knows what he needs to work on so it's a great tool for you guys at home if you can get an idea of what you need to work on just because you're not able to be outside and do it on the range outside you can still work on it so he's working on the same things at home as he is when he's out here with us on the driving range yeah and then uh i want to thank you brett you know not only has it been a pleasure to coach you since you were a young guy eight or nine years old but also too Brett does such a nice job of helping us with our players and getting to mentor them along and super relatable to the kids and he plays a lot of golf with them and he encourages them along so thank you a lot for that, much appreciated. Yeah, it's a pleasure, I'm a big fan of everyone we're helping out and it's, it's a pleasure to be able to help them. Okay everybody, keep learning from these math sessions, thanks for your really nice comments and we'll keep churning them out and hopefully you're getting to be a better player whether you're getting to get out on the golf course or not right now. We want that to happen sooner than later. All right, stay safe. Thank you.